Many of you may have heard of the North Pacific Gyre, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. What it is is a vortex of wind and currents that move in a clockwise fashion in the Northern Hemisphere. Debris naturally collects there like in the eye of a storm. But many do not know that there's actually five major gyres worldwide. And all of these gyres are collecting plastic and other chemicals affecting the marine life and the food that we eat every day. Aloha, my name is Richard Sundance Owen. I am founder and executive director of Environmental Cleanup Coalition. We were originally founded in 2008 to address the cleanup of the North Pacific Gyre. And with the realization that there are five major gyres collecting plastic worldwide, it has gone under study to take a look at the other gyres on the rest of the planet. Our current expedition that I will be joining with five gyres and um, Pangaea explorations, we will be studying the South Atlantic Gyre. This will be the first extensive research in the Southern Hemisphere for plastic and chemical accumulation in the ocean and in the marine life. The South Atlantic Gyre Research Expedition is leaving November 8th from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, 28 to 30 days at sea heading straight um, east and a little south, uh, ending up in Cape Town, South Africa. What we'll be doing out there is we'll be taking water samples and plastic samples all along the way to check the square area of the debris collection uh, accumulation in these areas, as well as the density of plastic accumulation in these areas. Uh, Marcus Erickson, Anna Cummings, and the Five Gyre team will be leading this expedition. They have invited me, Richard Sundance Owen, of Environmental Cleanup Coalition to assist in their uh, research and uh, plastic collection. This is the first time that the Southern Hemisphere will have gone under such extensive research for plastic and chemical accumulation uh, to date. This is a big deal. Um, this will give us a broader picture of what's happening worldwide. The North Pacific Gyre has been under study for over 15 years and now this is a, a, a great look at the this is a great look at the southern hemisphere and plastic accumulation down under. Why is this important to you who live so far away from the South Atlantic? For one, all oceans are connected. We live on planet Earth, a closed system. Water that has been on Earth today is the same water that has been here for two billion years. It can't go from anywhere and it can't come from anywhere. The water that is here has always been here and will always be here. Plastic is a petroleum-based product and a chemical. Plastic in and of itself is a hormonal disruptor and an estrogen mimicker, affecting the abilities of species to propagate, all species. But wait, there's more. It even gets worse. Plastic is also a vehicle to transport other chemicals, PCBs, DDEs, and other toxins into our food chain. This plastic is covered with chemicals. They are both hydrophobic. As marine life and fish mistake plastic for food, those chemicals bioaccumulate as they move up the food chain. And you know who's at the top of the food chain. That would be us. And my point is that as our oceans become more and more toxic, so is it the food that we eat. Just some fun facts for those of you who don't eat from the ocean. Over the course of your lifetime, you are about 72% water. The surface area of planet Earth is 72% water. When you cry, it's salt water. When you sweat, it's salt water. The blood in your veins has almost the same salt content as the oceans. We are salt water beings. We are directly connected to our oceans. What we do to our oceans, we do to ourself. Plastic use, chemical use, all of these things are very serious, but at the same time, very solvable. If we are the problem, then we can be the solution. That is the good news, is, is that we can turn this around. 
I have faith in the human race's ability to rise to the challenge. Some of the things that you can do is you can educate yourself and inform yourself. So that way you can educate and inform others. One of the things that everyone can do today is go to our website and make a financial contribution to help fund this important South Transatlantic Gyre Expedition and to help fund the ECC mission of education, informing, and transformation of our oceans worldwide.